just beyond Reichenau. From here, the Rhine is simply called the Rhine. The power plant at Donat Ems proved an unscalable barrier for fish from Lake Constance on the way to their habitual spawning grounds. By the end of the 70s, the Lake Constance trout was on the brink of extinction. It's partly thanks to Florian Bebby that the species survived. I've been a fisheries warden for almost 24 years now, and you do get attached to fish. Of course, they're mute animals, but somehow we give them a voice by protecting them. Florian Bebby. The Canton and the environmentalists battled hard for a fish ladder, costing well over six million US dollars. It was the only way to ensure the long-term survival of the lake's trout. The fish are determined to get to the spawning grounds where they grew up. And that's why we looked for a way to lead them back there with no assistance from outside. It was a rocky road to success. The breeding program began in 1983 with only four females and one male. Today there is again a healthy population of Lake Constance trout. And, thanks to the fish ladder, the animals can now return to their spawning grounds. Florian no longer needs to breed the fish, but he comes here regularly to examine their size. And he monitors how many of them have managed the long journey all the way from Lake Constance. Today, there are again many brown trout. Every year there are about five, six, seven hundred. When you think that before there were none. So this was perhaps the last chance. And now we will have to see how stable the population is. One way Florian Bebby determines the number of fish is with a motion sensor camera, which takes a photo whenever a fish passes through the fish ladder. On one of these pictures, Bebby made an unusual discovery. Apparently, he's not the only one who's happy about the return of the Lake Constance trout. It was quite a sensation when we looked at these pictures and discovered the European otter, which was thought to be extinct in Switzerland. For about three months, he appeared regularly in the pictures. It would be nice to have him here again, even if it means that he would take some of the fish. Nature would once more be intact. And that is what we humans should be aiming for. Uh, haben Florian isn't a man of many words. But where his fish are concerned, his feelings for the animals and the Rhine are evident. For me, the river's a bit like a friend. I grew up by the Rhine, and without it, something will be missing. When it floods, you shouldn't get too close. It's a bit like with people. When they're in a bad mood, you should leave them alone. It's the same with the Rhine.